Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, the creator of Fun and Draw. Right now, I'm in my hotel in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And as you can see, I am just in my hotel room. I'm going to show you today how to draw Judy Hopps from Zootopia as a cute Fun and Draw cartoon step by step. And be sure to check out my new Travel with the Artist video series coming soon. Okay, let's Fun and Draw Judy Hopps. So first, let's start with her cute head. I'll start with a curved line. For the forehead. And then underneath, I'll draw another curved line for her cute cheek. She's got such cute chubby cheeks. So here's a little curve. Okay, now I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Let's go down here, and then I'll stop right around there. Now I'm coming up here and I'll go across the head as another curve. Okay, so I'll go across the curve like that. For the top part of her head, now I'm going down towards the other side. Keep going down. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another little curve for the other part of her cheek. Her head will be turned slightly towards the side so the cheeks won't be exactly the same. Here comes another curve like that. Okay, so you'll notice that this distance is quite wide because I have lots of space for those big fun and draw eyes coming up. But before we get to the eyes, let's get into her big floppy ears. So let's start with one ear. I'll start right around here, so you can see. I'll go up as a curve, and then I'll curve around and go right back down. So just go up as a curve. Because this is my fun to draw style, I'm going to make the ears slightly more rounder than what she has in the movie. Make a really round, really cute looking, and then go all the way back down, like that. Okay, once we have this, let's draw another one on this side. Like this. Curve. Keep curving, and then go down. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute looking. Okay, so she's got her big ears. To make them look more like ears, not just like these two big shapes on her head, I want to draw part of the inner ear. And I'll summarize it to make it easier for more of you guys to follow along. So basically I just want to draw a line like this. Alright, now I'll curve across. And then from this line, I'll just go all the way down again. So it's kind of like I'm drawing the same thing, but just smaller. So I think that's a good simple way to draw the inside part of a bunny's ear. And let's do the same thing on the side. Okay, so I have this curve. Let's go around and down. Okay. Don't worry if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine, as long as we're just practicing art but having fun at the same time, I think that's the most important thing. Good job everyone, keep going. Okay, so we have these two ears, let's just make them extra fluffy with those cute little furry lines like that. Okay, now Judy does have darker areas near the tips of her ears, so I'll just go in and shade the tips of the ears like that. So just at the very tops there, for both. Okay, 
Now that we have her ears all done, let's go back into the head area. So we have all this big empty space, let's fill it with a cute face. So starting around this area down here, I wanted to draw her nose and mouth. So I'll dot the spot right there. Okay, so here's the dot. And then I'll draw just a short little curved line. So this line is for her nose area. Leave a little gap and then draw a triangle underneath. Just like a flat looking triangle. I'm going to summarize some of the details in her face for this tutorial. Okay, so we have this really wide flattened triangle for a cute little nose. Under here, let's draw a very short line for part of her mouth. And then on this side, I'll dot the spot so you can see. From this dot, let's draw a curve going around and back towards this line we drew. Okay, so like that. Now from here, I want to go around, draw a bigger curve, and maybe come right around there. So we're making a nice, big, cheerful smile for Judy. Okay. And you'll notice this curve is bigger than this one because the head is tilted just slightly towards the side. So everything on this side of the face will be bigger than this side of her face. Okay, let's add a little corner in the mouth there to finish her cheerful smile. And for her big fun of your eyes, Let's start them by drawing the cheek lines. So here's one line, and here's the other one on this side. Okay. Now, on top of each cheek line, I want to draw a big round triangle shape for her eye. So let's dot the spot so we know about the height of the eye here from this dot. We'll draw a big curve coming down, and then another big curve this way. So we have this round triangle shape for the fun of your eye. And then inside, I'll just draw another curve like that. And then I'll shade it in so it's nice and dark. Let's draw one. I'm going to make one more curve to make this a little bit taller. Okay, excellent. Okay, so once we have this, let's make a big pupil inside the eye for a very cute look. There we go. And a highlight to make the eye extra shiny. For the shading in the fun draw eye, this is how I'm going to do it. Start with a diagonal line and then Shade it all in. And now just draw one line, two lines, maybe three. There we go. So I have three little lines in the front of your eye. Let's make this a little bit darker. There we go. And Judy does have some very pretty eyelashes. So let's get some in. I'll draw one round curved triangle like that. Fill it in nice and dark so it stands out. And let's do another one. Okay, excellent. So we have one eye all done. Now for the other one, let's go here. I'll dot the spot just like before. From this dot, go down like that. And then one more. Okay, now we have the basic shape. Let's draw one more curve. I'll shade it in. And then let's draw the pupil. Just like before. So here's a curve. Here's a little highlight. And then the shading. And remember, if you need to, you guys, you can always pause the video or you can watch this video as many times as you need. 
Okay, so I have the little lines to finish the shading in the pupil. There we go, just three little lines, that's all it takes. And then let's draw the curved triangle for the eyelashes. Oh, so pretty. Okay, Judy's looking pretty cute. She's almost done in terms of her face. Let's go up here, so let's leave a gap. Go all the way up near the top of her head. Maybe right around here. And then let's start her eyebrow. Like that. Let's draw one more. So it's a it's like a really long curved triangle. And it's quite dark, so let's shade it in. a little bit longer and thicker. There we go. Okay, so this eyebrow is going up like that. Now for this eyebrow here, it'll be very similar, so leave a gap, go up, and then go towards the other side of the face. So it kind of wraps around that corner of the face. All right, so we have her eyebrows. She does have some different areas of color in her fur. I'm just gonna summarize these things for the tutorial, so I'll simplify the areas. Let's draw a little line coming down around the eye, and then another one down here. And to make her look extra fluffy, you can add these cute little lines just on the head. and around the cheeks. Oh, she looks so cute. All right, so we are done Judy's head. Now for the body. So I'm coming down here. She has a little neck area, and now I'm gonna go into her police uniform. Yes, she is a real cop. <laughs> okay, so we have the neck area. It's kind of pinching in now. I want to draw the collar. And because she is in my fun to draw style, everything in the body will be smaller, shorter, and simpler. So I'm going to simplify a lot of the details in there for you guys to follow along. So hopefully they'll make it easier for more of you to follow this tutorial. Okay, so right now I have this little collar and it kind of ends near the neck area. Right underneath, I want to draw a little curve. So this is her chest and part of her uniform. She's got such a stylish uniform. Okay, so I have these two little curves coming out. Go across the body. And right here, let's add a cool little badge. Just a simple little badge like that. Oh, right. Excellent. She's a real cop. Okay. So once we have that done, let's go down just a little bit. Now her body's going to be quite short compared to her head, so I'm not going to make it too long for this tutorial. This is her waist, and let's draw a little curve to end it. Okay, once we have that from this line, I want to go down towards the leg now. So this is one leg coming down here, and another leg goes down here, like that. So she's kind of posing. This leg curves down, and this leg looks a little bit longer because less weight is on this leg than here. And you'll see what I mean in a minute when I have more of the pose done. Okay, so we have this curve for the end of the waist, and this is the perfect time to start her belt. So it kind of wraps around her body. And I'll simplify the things she's got on the belt too, so maybe here's like the center of the belt, the buckle, and she's got little holders on the side for other things. 
Okay, so once we have the simple belt done, now it's time to draw more of the leg. So I'll draw a little line in the middle, and then I'll come down towards this line, or this leg rather. So we have these two lines kind of pinching in towards a little narrow part in the ankle. Okay, now for this other leg here, I'll just draw like that. And now, draw a little simple oval at the knee. So that's part of her uniform. Okay, and now for the ankles, just draw a little curve around them. And now time for her cute little bunny feet. I think they're adorable. <laughs> okay, so for the feet, I'm gonna go out like that. So I have this long curve, keep curving for the toe area, and then just come all the way back in for the foot. Okay, I wanna draw another curve. So this is again part of her uniform, this foot piece here, and then her toes just come out. So to make her cute little toes, just draw curves. So here's one curve. And then this is another curve, just like that. Okay, you guys are doing great, keep it up. So we have our cute little bunny feet, or foot, we only have one. Now let's get the other one done. Okay, now for this side, again, just draw what we did before, but everything's facing the other way. Okay, so like this, just, just big curve. Okay, I'm coming in from the heel and then end the curve like that. Okay, this line over here. And then for the toes, just like that. So here's one. And then let's make another one like this. Okay, excellent. So we have our cute little round toes. So we have her feet. Now let's go up into Judy's arms and I'll draw this arm kind of bent and maybe she has the hand behind her back. So just go ahead and draw this bent line. And then the other line to make this more like an arm. So you're filling out the shape. There we go. Draw a little line underneath the elbow. So that's part of her uniform. Okay, good. So we have one arm done. Now let's go into the other arm. This one I want to bend out more because I want her hand to be resting on her hip okay. to show her confidence. I think she's such a cool character. So we have this arm coming out. It'll bend out here, come back, okay, towards the body, but I want to leave a gap in here for the hand. Okay, now for the actual palm, just draw a little curve like that. Okay. Now to show the inside part of the arm, dot the spot, so maybe right around here. Go back up towards the body, like that. And then now here, I wanna just draw a line coming down and it will touch this part of the hip. So go all the way down like this. So now you can see this area kinda looks like a little rough triangle. Actually this whole arm kind of looks like a vague triangle shape on her side. So that's a really good way to draw a character with this kind of pose. All right so we have most of this arm done. Let's just finish the little fingers. Of course it's kind of on the side so you won't see all the fingers. I'll just draw this shape to complete the side of the hand. And maybe you'll see one more little finger just poking out from the back.
back there. And to finish, draw a little curve around the elbow and then another one by the hand there for her uniform. Oh, she looks adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe so you won't miss new videos. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. And be sure to be on the lookout for my new Travel with the Artist series. See you next time, guys. Bye! Learn how to draw and color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw eBooks and my Fun to Draw apps. They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.